Emma, we're doing a series of pieces for International Women's Day, and I always relate you to business, marketing, etc. But take back to a couple of years ago when you were at school, were you encouraged to go into the world of work that you're in now? No, to be honest with you, back then I don't think, well, I don't think women were encouraged that much to do, it wasn't the dark ages obviously, but it wasn't, I don't think women were encouraged to go into any line of work particularly. I know a lot of, a lot of the girls that I was at school with went on to be teachers. Um, and yeah, I, I think I was encouraged to, to do what I felt like I, that, that it interested me and that, that inspired me. And that's kind of what I did. I was always going to be a police lady. Um, that was my ambition and I wanted to follow in my father's footsteps. So um, yeah, I took quite a different route in the end. And so when you left, you went on to university? Yes. So you went to university to study? I did. Um, I went to the London College of Printing and Distributive Trades to do marketing and advertising degree. And I think it was the first or second year the degree had been established. So um, it was quite a new one. I didn't, um, didn't know really what I wanted to do, but wanted to make TV adverts because that looked like it might be fun. Um, and I, yeah, so. And since then, until now, um, are, you, has it, are you a woman in a man's world or is it just a woman in industry and business? So I, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist and I was always slightly irritated by people that went on about women in business and so on. But more recently I've really noticed um, it's important to, to stand up for yourself. As, I, as I'm progressing in my career, um, one of my main clients is in the automotive tech sector and I really know it's really noticeable that I'm a woman in that sector very heavily dominated by men um, it's definitely a struggle but I've got kids and a lot of the men have their wives looking after the the kids at home um, typically and I think I've joined the women in automotive um, group within the sector which is really helpful and really good I'm going to women in business networking events as well um, just because I mean, unfortunately, we've got the menopause, we've got the kids, we've got the, the, all of the stuff that women have going on um, that quite often men don't recognise as much, I think. So, so, when, so when you're at the Women in Business Network, are there shared experiences or shared grievances? Or, or I think it's shared learnings. If we look at it more positively, it's more about the experiences we've had and how we're, how we're overcoming them and how we're uh, working with them and getting the best from so them. Mm -hmm. So what would your advice be to say somebody who was say in sixth year, a, a woman who's in sixth year at school looking to maybe get involved in business etc? I'd say find a mentor, find some people that are in business, um, some women that are in business already and, and, and get them to put you under their wing because I think that's one thing I didn't have um, growing up growing up going through my um, early career and I think that would have really helped and I think now I've found a lot of inspirational people that I sort of tag on all along with or ask advice from and so on and I I think that would have really helped back then and you used to work in London and now you work do you work from home and is, are those different dynamics yes yeah, so I used to work in um, in agencies in London I did some time in Australia as well in an ad agency there um, and it was it was it was great fun to, to begin with straight away but um, I think now I'm working from home I pretty much sit in a, an office on my own um, on countless zoom or team calls and then I'm going to clients um, occasionally as well to go and sit in their offices but predominantly I'm on my own and it drives you a bit bonkers actually <laughs> um, it's really nice to have some banter and some office um, office camaraderie and I think yeah that's one of the biggest things I really miss. But it's your day here we are at New Ground Cafe in New Hall thank you Tracy for allowing us to use here um, but that classic day are you, you know juggling the job and your, uh, your children at school and we're coming up to two o'clock now and you're thinking about picking them up is, is it, that can't really change because there's not an awful lot you can do about that. That's just a challenge of life in 2023. Yeah, and I don't think that's I don't think that's just women as well that are facing that challenge. To be fair, um, I'm very very fortunate. I'm really good at getting up early in the morning. Start my day predominantly at four o'clock in the morning, but I go to bed really early um, in the evening. And when I can, I grab sleep, and then when I've got moments of uh, peace and quiet, I get my work done. So do it works really nicely. Do you encounter sexism at all? Was that gone? Oh, it's difficult. Yes, I do. I think I do, um, but not as visibly or as openly as as previously. When when I was much younger, it was very obvious, um, and it was, but it was kind of acceptable. Whereas now, it's whereas it's it's not so acceptable now. I think people are a bit more discreet. Finally, um, 
Here we are in 2023, we want to end on a positive note. Do you think there's still great opportunities for women in, in all sorts of businesses? Absolutely, I think we're in it. We're we're growing up. A, well, we're we're in, living and existing in a, a world where we can kind of just be anything we want to be. Is we set your mind to it, um, have the right people around you. I think it's yeah, just go for it, and you can do anything you want to do.